Det jag kan göra är att jag kan förmedla den kunskap som finns ute på nätet bland aktivister. Att jag kan, kan hjälpa, hjälpa att förmedla den till de andra parlamentarikerna. Men jag tror att det var inte bara en känsla för att det gick också många misstankar om. Och man vet att USA har utövat påtryckningar på, på Sverige och på utrikesdepartementet. Jag tror att eh, det har varit en slumrande rörelse för den har funnits i internetnätverken och liksom fått gå vara ganska fredar. Man liksom har haft ett politiskt rum. Piratpartiet för rätten till ett skyddat privatliv. Information från Piratpartiet. 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 Ja, men ta en tag och läs på, vet jag. Vi hade to found a new party in order to send a strong message to politicians. Understand this or we will take your jobs. The pirate movement has spoken to politicians for three full years about these issues and they had kept ignoring it. They just were so focused on their little scope of issues that they missed out on this huge freedom issues, freedom of expression, the right to communicate in private, the right to seek information. There was the Pirate Bay raid in 2006, which kind of pissed me off and said, okay, I'm, I'm going to do something now. Many young people uh, have, uh, have gotten into politics just because of uh, a movement we're starting here. The general opinion turned when they were convicted. And this was right before the election, so it was pretty good for us. Och tingsrätten har fällt de fyra personer som var åtalade till ansvar för medhjälp till brott mot upphovsrättslagen. Och rätten har bestämt påföljden för en vara av dem till ett års fängelse. The record labels like to think of themselves as the music industry. They are not. They are making stupid pieces of plastic that aren't needed anymore. When we have a real political debate or a debate in the, in the court, we always win. And that's why we have been successful in court and that's why the politicians give us the new laws, which is very, very good in Sweden. So we are losing in media and uh, winning in reality. A proper vision for the future of the internet also needs to take in consideration the, the creation of new content and, and not just the kind of content you would find like the home videos you will find on YouTube. You, you have to also think about the pro professional content because we, we, can't, we can't live without that. Out the sight on a Friday night, beat you with a boom dynamite. It's like Billie Jean in a way you never heard it before and it makes it exclusive uh, and only special DJs will have free coming to free free coming to This is 
worth for the record label is putting down all that effort in trying to stop something that's, that cannot be stopped. Because it's already shown in a way it, it, with internet that so it, it lives its own life. Danger Mouse never made a dime. Nobody who copied or distributed the music ever made a dime. Beatles didn't make a dime. Jay-Z didn't make a dime. The Beatles uh, lawyers uh, must have made some money, but nobody else did. My there's only you in my life. The only thing that's right. Copyright is restricting ma many of the best new ideas for, for, for building uh, sustainable businesses. Uh, we want to give Europe a head start by, by starting to relax intellectual, the stranglehold that intellectual property holds on, on innovation and culture. <laughs> When one of my readers buy a book that I've written, they, they borrow it out to their friends. Should I prohibit that too? I mean, it's the same thing. We share. We share what we like. And if somebody likes something and tells someone else about it, that person will tell uh, even someone else. And that's the way the culture spreads. <laughs> I am a pirate, and I, I think I will always be. I say, kiss the future. Don't be afraid. It's going to happen anyway. <laughs> Exactly the same thing happened in the 80s when, with the environmental movement, but the old politicians didn't, didn't uh, quite get it. And it wasn't until green parties were started in many, many European countries that the old politicians started to take it seriously. Now they all do, so that was a real success story. I see, uh, we, we're trying to do exactly the same thing, but in information politics. Right. And we see that succeeding. I mean, we are just one facet of a global movement. The uh, traditional parties will pick up their ideas, give uh, the answers to them. They have never answered uh, the pirates. They will give the answer, they will take some parts of the pirates' ideas, and the pirate party will uh, disappear. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.